So when he said, um, she's my sister, they agreed. Then they gave Abraham a whole lot. Now, Abraham at that point was defeated. But he already entered into an agreement with someone whose partnership involved I'm going to deal with your police. You didn't get that. If you know you're going to be defeated in the future, why don't you make a strong man your friend? Give him praise, let's worship him, adore him, glorify him, open your mouth and exalt the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Rock of Ages, the Ancient of Days. Give him praise, give him glory, magnify him, adore him, rejoice in him, celebrate him. Give him praise. Thank you in Jesus mighty name. Happy resurrection day. Is anyone excited? I said happy resurrection day. Resurrection Day. 
believe in resurrection. Happy Resurrection Day. The scripture says on the third day. In the end of the Sabbath has it begun to dawn toward the first day of the week. The end of Saturday, it was early morning of Sunday, Matthew 28, verse 1. Came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. It's amazing to know that there are certain people that will stick with you through thick and thin. In life, they are there in death, they won't let go. They are so grateful, so thankful, they never forget you, the impact of your life over their lives or in their lives. The memory of man is so like this, short lived, it's so tiny when it comes to remembering something good. Humans hardly remember something good. Why do you guys move people and left my friend? Move my friend somewhere. Give him somewhere. Don't leave him. Yeah, move him next to Sam. Good. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. So, men easily forget good things. They hardly forget bad things. So I should put it this way. Humans hardly remember good things. They easily forget good things. Yet, they easily remember bad things. But there are certain people that never forget and I believe that when we come to the place where we always remember any good done to us we will experience the power of God in an unusual way the scripture says forget not all his benefits humans easily forget and that's why it's hard for people to experience the fullness of God because the last time God did something extraordinary they were happy for a the moment they were excited until the next challenge showed up the moment the next issue, challenge, problem showed up, they forgot they forget rather people easily forget the goodness of God. I believe one of the power of this resurrection morning is to remind us of how loving, kind, good, merciful, gracious God has been to the human race. Most times people celebrate you while you are alive until you are dead. When you are dead, they say, ah, you know. Then they might even look for a way to say some bad things about you. Some may say good things and move on. Out of a hundred, you find just two women. This Mary Magdalene happened to be the woman from whom Jesus casted out seven demons. When he delivered her from her oppression, a few years later, he died. Even though she loved him and believed, but she didn't believe that he would come back to life. The amazing thing is people can be hypocritical if they think that, well, you will find out. You got, you got it right? 
if they think you will find out they can be hypocritical, right? Uh, she, if she knew he was going to come back to life, she would go there and say, I was the first to be there. So she didn't go there trying to prove her points to anyone. She went there trying to prove her love and her gratitude to the one who loved her, delivered her from her oppression. So when she got there, she really, really, really thought she was going to find his body because she went there with balm to go and embalm his dead body. I'm praying for you that this resurrection day, God will give you a unique miracle of authentic people in your life. You don't need everybody, you just need genuine people. Are you following me? I've been saying this, you have to trust me because one of the last days prophecy is that the Bible says brothers will betray brothers. So if you, we saw that on Saturday, a prudent man foresees evil. So you don't, I don't have to prophesy to you that somebody will betray you. Jesus already prophesied it. No prophet is greater than Jesus. So it's a written prophecy he's waiting for you. The thing is we don't know the day it will happen. But as far as betrayer, you will be betrayed. Brother shall deliver our brother to death. Father to child. I won't deliver you to death. But children shall do what? Rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. It's one of the end time prophecy. And you can see the work keenness. And that's why David knew that something was going to go wrong, right? So he prayed ahead of time. Deliver me from strange children. So when Absalom rose against him, it shook his kingdom. But that child died. So a child that we rise to try to kill me, that child Lord, let their soul be received in peace. Yeah. Spiritual or any kind. Are you following me? Yes, sir. The Bible says in the last day, perilous times shall come. These are the spirits that will possess people. So, Proverbs says, a prudent man foresees evil. And what does he do? He hides himself from it. He hides himself from it. He hides himself from it. No, not hide. He prepares the passion. The prudent man foreseeth evil. He hided himself. But a simpleton goes and fall into it. So if I start reading it, you just let me finish it before I change it. Now let's read it together. A prudent person with insight foresees danger coming. And prepares himself for it. Go ahead. But the senseless rush blindly forward and suffer the consequence. Every choir member should come back to the sanctuary now. Call all the choir coming to the sanctuary. The senseless does what? Blindly. Senseless rush blindly forward and suffer the consequence. So what we do with our lives is to send prayer into our future. When you send prayer into your future, your prayer filters contradictions in the future. So you are praying, Father, raise in my life worthy people that are trustworthy authentic people that are genuine you don't need everybody to rise you just need the right people you understand sometimes what four genuine friends can do in your life 100 fake friends can do 
There's so much to be discussed, so I'm going to go quickly. I have to close this first service in a few minutes from now. But I just can't skip this prayer point. Are you with me? So, there are two prayer points here. But I want to take the first one, and then I'll give you the quick second one. And then we'll continue the next service. We're going to receive testimonies. There are so many things in second service. We have gifts. We have um, people be winning stuff and all those kind of things. So second service also is uh, super loaded. So I'm going to need probably about 20 minutes to 25 minutes to wrap up this service. I want to use a few minutes of this time to pray. Mary, the woman he delivered, went to his tomb when she knew he was dead and thought he would never come back to life. Do you realize that the first person that saw the risen Christ was not a man. It was a woman. Who? Mary. The same woman from whom he casted out seven demons. Has he done anything to you or in your life? Has Christ been good, kind enough to make you accept the responsibility of standing with his church through thick and thin representing him publishing him the question is how many people did you tell about Christ today Amen. yesterday who did you tell about Christ how many souls did you win who did you invite to church you invited yourself I'm sorry to say, it's a sign of ingratitude. Amen. Yeah. It's a sign of ingratitude to God, not to me, to God. Because God is watching. If you're grateful to me for what I have done, then you will tell somebody about me. But so long as your resurrection service, you're happy. What impact has the resurrection made? In the lives of others through you. Amen. So you're going to pray. First, you are asking God two major things to raise for Himself. He said, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, they went to see the sepulchre, the burying place. Hey. The burying place. They, they went with bombs to embalm him. To clean his dead body. What level of gratitude is that? What level of gratitude is that? That they went. Now remember, dead body stinking. Three days. They were going to clean the body so that it was stop from decaying. They were so grateful. They were obsessed with his kindness. And that's why I need you to know this. If you keep doing God and doing what is right in the sight of God, it may not be everybody that will appreciate you, but God will always put people in your life that will be eternally grateful. Good people, good people good people. And sometimes one good person can do in your life what 100 fake people can't do. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by your mercies, by your power and authority, I ask that you raise in your church authentic people, men and women, with grateful heart, people that will remember your goodness, your kindness, your faithfulness, and will use this gratitude to spread the good news around the world. Raise a church on fire international men and women with great heart, with pure heart, authentic people that will be grateful, eternally grateful to you for all that you have done and all you are doing through Church on Fire International raise in the name of Jesus men and women boys and girls that will live 
sacrificially as you expand your church as you expand church of fire international as you expand the body of christ raise profitable laborers men and women that will lovingly labor in your church expanding your kingdom to the glory of your name raise your right hand my father by your mercies i ask that you raise for me and in my life profitable associations relationships men and women that will be authentic that will be grateful raise for me genuine friends non-traitors 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 raise for me authentic friends relationships that will help me live for you walk with you serve you the way you want to be served for the rest of my life in the name of jesus open your mouth and make it your prayer lift your voice and make it your prayer lift your voice and make it your prayer Sempre cabara de keleke de bria prende gria con de cria po mande ke le ko sebele ke dia rekanto te te ke de keleke te keta barike to kalipe ke te ka je crie ken de crie ko ba bente ke le crie po masize compre ke va et jabende Brakne Kalida Endos Kele Brekeria Zo Parakene Kelivre Konde Parale Enduze Brekambetula Embrunkada Yade Intende Kriabo Shibre Kamero Paliata Lefrebo Sapa Raise for me Men and women Authentic men Amazing man, Kalisho Brekebada, Mandi Kobrekeba, Yandu Zebre Kelibra, Edegade Gadegalia, Shekelegade Bigada, Mayakonde Griagadia. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. shout a thunderous amen. Amen. Now, if you read verse 2, the Bible says there was a great earthquake, angel came, descended, and from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. We're going to be praying that in the next service. Now, as we go further, uh, verse 6 is what I want us to pray. Verse 6. Verse 5, sorry. Verse 5. Verse 5. Let's read. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that you seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen as he said. Come and see the place where the Lord laid. Somebody say he's not here. He is risen as he said. That means there are things God told you about you. There are things God said he will do in your life. There are things God promised to do in your life. But it hasn't manifested. After today, there will be manifestation. He is risen as he said. There will be pure practical fulfillment of prophecies in the name of Jesus Christ. The destiny God called you to fulfill by the mercies and power of God, you will fulfill in the name of Jesus. So he said, when he was crucified, they brought him here. This was his address. But now come and check. He has changed his address. Are you with me? He is no longer here. Raise your right hand. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by your mercies and your power, by reason of resurrection power, I ask that you change my story, my address, my status. Open your mouth and make it your prayer. Lift your voice. Raise me up. Raise me up. Give me a new story. 
give me a new status. He is risen. As he said, give me a new story. La pekeneko. La di prekeniata. Shekele prekenish. Ante de 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 prekenish. Rapon de kele malia. Rekampo do kotobre. Rakom bere kilaba. Si preken de kele. E sobre kamiada. Aban de kele kola. Se preken de krubedia. Rapoke te kete gila. Se preken do prekabi. Shande prekolia. Shimako. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Lift your hands and give thanks to God for answering our prayers. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Bless his name. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Can you help me look at your neighbor and just welcome them with a smile and say I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here. Amen. Please be seated. Now do me a big favor before you sit down. Kindly walk to about three, four people and smile and welcome them. Welcome to Resurrection Day. Um, choir, quickly come. Choir, come, everyone. Resurrection Day, please come. Great. Say resurrection power. power. Alright. Yes, Can you take a lot in about 15 minutes? Uh -huh. Then we'll go to the next service. Alright. Are you excited? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We went to the studio to record yesterday. It was amazing. Yeah. Now I'm not kidding you. The girls did very well. I was hoping he would send me that so we can play. Like, I'm not kidding you. Naraya Nuriel, the way they sat as if they've been recording all their lives. So when they did their part, it was amazing. Oh my goodness, my daughter Brian, she, she did her, she rapped. Ta, 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 ta. Then goes Joshua and you there. Amazing. I am so excited. Yes, You're the sign that I asked for. Yeah. I've been waiting there and he sent you. Yeah. He told me I'll live in heaven. Yes. For sure, he's in heaven too. Yes. You were here. Awesome. Open the eyes of men. And Ryan Noel just went, open the eyes of men. Like they got it so well. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. I'm telling you. Then what about our wonderful Soprano, alto, and all. Jay, Manuela, Malija. Amazing. Thank you for coming to the studio with us. I'm really looking forward to these songs shaking the world. Amen. We're looking at the subject triumphant. Triumphant. Say triumphant. I'm going to be quick with this because we have a, a, lot, a, lot, a whole lot in the second service. Triumphant. Today being 
the globally celebrated they call it Easter but it's actually Resurrection Sunday this is the first day of the week the day that over 2000 years ago God came down to earth in human body just to pay the price of getting back his children that Satan stole. Well, you may say Satan stole, but of course we know that Adam committed treason. He gave up his family. You know, it's like you have a 